Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss as to how we can create dynamic internal tables using classes. Okay, so we are going to use RTTS classes uh, in this example. So without wasting time, let's get into the program. So I am going to create the selection screen and for that I am going to have a p underscore table parameter which will be of type string and this is this is the parameter which is going to hold the um, table name okay the table name will be entered here and then you will also have p underscore cond type string okay so this will actually hold the where condition okay so the whatever where condition you have for the select query i am going to place it in this parameter so i'll just activate and show you what I'm going to do here. So here in P underscore table, I'll provide VBAK or uh, the table names like that, any table name, VBAK, Mara or whatever you want. And here I'll provide the where condition. Okay, like where webln equals so and so. Okay, so this is how I'm, I've designed my uh, selection screen. And now to achieve this uh, dynamically, uh, at runtime, I'm going to create a table based on the input you provide in the selection screen. So for that, we have a class called CLABAP type descriptor. Okay. And here we have a method, static method, which is called the describe by name. Okay. So this describe by name, if you pass the, the input as a, as a, as a structure name, okay, it is going to return you the type of that. Okay, any any uh, DD, DDIC uh, mm, structure name you pass it here, like I pass VBAK, it is going to return you the type of that. Okay, the line type of that. So mm, what I'm going to do here is I will um, I'll show you what this class is about. I'll go inside uh, describe uh, this class called CLABAP type descriptor, and here you find this um, particular method called describe by name. Here, if I see the parameter here, it is going to take in any um, type and any kind of uh, parameter here. Let's see, the p underscore name is of type any, and it will return you a type, a type of the input what you're providing. Suppose you're providing VBAK, so it will return you the type of that. Okay, what's the type of VBAK? The structure, the structure of VBAK, it will return you as an object reference. Okay, so this is a, this is basically a static method. You can see it as a static method here. Okay. So uh, now I'll also show you uh, another thing here. Mm. So here in types of descriptor, you'll find subclasses. Okay. So this is the main superclass for all these subclasses. Okay. Type descriptor is the main superclass. And here in data descriptor, if you come down, I have a complex de uh, descriptor and here I will find the subclasses. Okay. So these are the two uh, classes which I'll be making use of uh, in this program, the program which I'm writing now. So in the structure descriptor, okay, this will actually give the structure type. So I am, I'm, I'm providing type descriptor and I'm giving the table name. So I have to capture it inside the structure descriptor. So it will be basically a downcasting. Why? Because I'm going from a superclass to a subclass okay so you'll need that question mark equal to symbol to achieve this okay so I, i'll be taking this i want this now okay so what i'm going to do here is in order to achieve this i will actually <coughs> i have to uh, pass this uh, p underscore table here and i'll remove all this for now Okay, I'll remove this also, not really required because I have just one parameter. So I'll pass it directly like this or I just need, I don't need this also, I just need to pass this like this. Okay, simpler equation. And here, I will create a reference of that class which I was talking about, this subclass. CLABAP struct descriptor. Okay, so I will do a downcasting now. So O struct question mark equals this, this part. Okay, so basically it will return you the type of the structure. Okay, I'm passing VBAK, I'll give you the line type. Now with this line type, I'm going to create a table type. Okay, 
So I hope you have understood this because this is a, like a downcasting. This symbol is used for downcasting. So you are basically moving from a higher level. I, as I showed you in the hierarchy, this type descriptor is in the higher level. Okay. And this is at a lower level. Okay. So you're going from a less specific view to a more specific view. Okay. So the direction is like you're coming down, right? So it's called downcasting. And now what I'll do is mm, I have a class called, as I showed you, there are two classes, right? One is struct descriptor and the other one would be table descriptor. And here there is a method called create. Okay. And here I have to provide the line type. You're getting my point. Why I have uh, uh, used this I, uh, before uh, using this table descriptor because I need to provide a line type to in order to create a dynamic table. Okay. So the line type would be O struct. I'll pass the same here. Okay. And what will it re receive? It will receive. It is going to receive. I'll do it in line declaration here and I'll say um, P underscore table type or something. Okay. Or I'll just say mm, P underscore table type or something like that. Okay. Whatever you want, you can name. And this will actually create a table type of this. And in the next step, you're going to create the table. Okay, so for that, what do you need to do? You have to use create data and you have to mention a table name. Okay, so this no, uh, it's, it's not a table name. Basically, it's a data reference. So for that, I have to create a, I'll say, um, maybe final table or something type ref to data. Okay, so I have to use that here, which final table I have to use it here. Final underscore table type handle this is a important keyword you should not miss out this this is basically used with this uh, these rtts classes okay it is just used to hold an object reference so this this is going to return you an object reference right okay which is of typed this one okay so this will hold this so i have in order to handle that here you have to use the handle um, keyword okay so this is basically generate this final table Okay, now then I have to use a select query, right? So in order to dynamically um, create a table at runtime with the table which you're passing here, I have finally um, designed this um, final table, right? And one more thing I, I just forgot to mention, uh, you ha also have to dereference this. Uh, this is a data reference now. So we have to actually <coughs> dereference it to a field symbol, right? We have to refer, ref, uh, put put it into a field symbol. So for that, what I'll do is I'll say final table. I'll say to what is that? I'll create a field symbol. I'll say fs underscore table. I'll put an assign here. Okay. I'll define this field symbol fs underscore table type any table. Okay. So that will actually hold the table. Now I'll say select, uh, I'll say star. Okay. I'll, I'll take all the columns from which is the table P underscore table. Okay. Suppose VBAK for in this example into table. What is that? FS underscore table, right? Which I have designed here. Okay. Where I'll say P underscore cont, right? So the P underscore condition is the where condition which I'll be uh, providing. So we have designed our select query. Now what we'll do is we have this, our important uh, CLS LV table. And here we have the factory method. All right. We have the factory method. And in, with, into this uh, factory method, we have to, you know, provide the, um, uh, I'll provide a, a OALV or something or underscore LV. I have to import this and then <coughs> I have to also provide this uh, final table which I am uh, I've created, right? So that will be FS underscore table. Okay, then finally to display the ALV output, I have to do this O underscore say ALV display. So displays the method which will actually generate the ALV output. Okay, let me check this syntax now. It is syntactically correct. So what I'll do is I'll activate this 
and uh, I know I'll put a breakpoint in O underscore O struct here. Execute this. I'll put VBAK here. For now, I'll not put anything in the where condition. I'll execute this. And as you can see, the debugger has opened up. So now we have the P table as VBAK. So in the O struct, it is going to get the structure type, right? <coughs> so type descriptor you have and it will uh, return you. Uh, and if you want to know the um, what are the components inside this, what all um, fields are there in this struct descriptor, you have a, a field called attribute called components inside which you will find you know all the uh, the list of um, the field names so sometimes this is a actually a requirement wherein you need to you know lo uh, do some kind of dynamic uh, programming using uh, field names so in order to do that you have to get the <coughs> um, components okay so you have a method for this called get components which will actually return you all the components i am not going to do that now so I'll uh, press an F6 and the table type. So this is having a table type reference. So this is an object reference. So I'm using a handle here. It is not a normal type. Then I'm going to create a final table here. Okay. So this is actually a data reference, right? I already got it in this data reference. But what I'm doing is I'm just assigning it to a field symbol. So now the field symbol has on the list of all the fields, all the columns. And now I'm going to do this uh, fetching, internal table fetching. So now in F table, you will find all the entries from the VBAK table. Okay, so you can see a list of all the all the rows from this uh, table. Now I'm going to do this, um, generating the ALV output and then finally display. So you can see all the list of all the um, all the fields and all the records are being shown up and VBAK uh, structure and then I'm going to display this output here. So you can see only one record is showing up now. And uh, yeah, if I need uh, something else, I'll just test one more uh, value. F8. Okay, now you can see 4970 getting displayed. So uh, this is about this table descriptor and also now we also have a mm, have a get uh, a method static method okay i'll just show you this also so if, even here you can provide this line type from your previous uh, step or previous line you can provide this and uh, this will actually work in the same way okay uh, okay so we also have to receive this mm, so i'll say it is also going to receive this and uh, I will provide this here check activate execute VBAK where I'll put a where condition also and here also you'll find this this is a similar step what I did uh, from the previous one so it's, it's going to display the same output okay so that's it guys for uh, this session and if you um, want to explain more about this you can just go ahead and, uh, and go inside this class and you will find a list of details and uh, you will also get a list of all the subclasses and uh, classes under this and you can actually you know explore this uh, much more mm, if you have any uh, mm, if you need any clarification please don't hesitate to uh, uh, put as a comment Okay, so see you later in the next session. And uh, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. As I always tell you. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye.